President Barack Obama and Prime Minister Modi will shortly address some of the top Indian and American corporates at the CEO forum that's on as we speak in the national capital. With the political leg of the visit all wrapped up, President Obama and Prime Minister Modi are getting down to business. The forum is being co-chaired by Cyrus Mistry of Tata Sons and David Coat of US firm Honeywell, the Ambani brothers, Anand Mahindra, Chanda Kochar of ICICI Bank and Kiran Majumdar Shah of Biocon will be among the other Indian corporate leaders present at this event. The US team comprises, among others, Indira Nui of PepsiCo, Harold McGraw, of chairman, chairman of McGraw-Hill Finance and Ajay Banga, CEO of MasterCard. For the US, the big concerns are restrictions on foreign investment and confusion over taxation in India. While the Indian, while the Indian focus is on issues ranging from visas to attracting investments and manufacturing expertise for the Make in India mission. Significantly, India and the US have already signed three agreements yesterday for smart cities in Ajmer, Allahabad and Vishakhapatnam. Financial inclusion. Let's go straight across to headlines today is Pankaj Upadhyay for more on this story. Pankaj, uh, all eyes on the message being sent out by the Indo-US Business Summit, the CEO Forum, some of the uh, most successful and influential business leaders under one roof at this uh, hotel event at this point of time, also looking for a political message from both President Obama and Prime Minister Modi. Yes, Shiv. At this point of time, what India needs is uh, that the U.S. firms should look at us as the destination uh, for manufacturing and for design. It is a big reality that India needs a foreign investment. And what a time when both the leaders have shown the commitment, they have shown such great camaraderie. And sources really say that this is the time when boost could be given to the economies of both the countries and both the leaders have committed. Of course, there are concerns, there are expectations as well at the same time. And sources say that both have decided that this is the time when both the concerns and the expectations can be shared across the table. While India, of course, as far as the uh, top executives are concerned, they really want more space in the American market. They would also want to discuss various agreements, including the free trade. There are concerns from the American side as well that they need not be unnecessarily taxed plus other issues uh, like uh, the restrictions on foreign investment. So as I was saying earlier, the issues of trade, visa and uh, investment, perhaps these will be the biggest concerns that will be shared across the table. And when I said that uh, commitment has been shown from both the leaders, uh, on one hand, we have President Obama who has said that the 100 billion mark really has to be crossed. On the other hand, Prime Minister Modi has committed uh, to the building of 100 smart cities with the cooperations of yes. the U.S. So very positive sign coming in and all eyes now on this uh, meeting that is going on right now. And the end result perhaps could be very, very interesting this time around. And as many say that this is the time when the differences could be really ironed out and that boost could be given to the economy. Shiv. Absolutely, uh, Pankaj. Uh, you know, apart from the message itself, uh, there is a great deal of convergence already in terms of business and trade between India uh, and the United States. The people-to-people -people contact has happened. And, uh, you know, one of the things, uh, you know, many people have been saying, uh, Pankaj, is that there is a lot of symbolism and not much substance to this visit. I think uh, day one has proven that categorically incorrect with that breakthrough on the civilian nuclear deal. Several other defense agreements also signed. And today, what's really happening is a mechanism, a way and a path forward to convert India and US trade from the current $100 billion a year to at least $500 billion a year in just the next five years, definitely not a small mission. Pankaj? That's right, Shiv. There have also been, uh, been talk uh, doing the round, of course, that uh, uh, m many top honchos uh, did, uh, were not really a pa part of this all-important meeting. Uh, but then the reasons were also being cited that uh, two months advance notice wasn't really good enough to have prepared for such a big summit. Yes. At the same time, it was also being said that for the vibrant Gujarat summit, a big delegation uh, of, uh, uh, of the U.S. Uh, business uh, top honchos had come in here already. 
so these are the reasons that have really been uh, cited. But beyond this, uh, you know, as far as the uh, uh, top honchos and the sources uh, really are concerned, they really say that they see this as a fantastic opportunity because of the ki uh, kind of uh, vibes that the two leaders have shared, the kind of commitment additionally that both uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and US President Barack Obama right. have come out with. And they really say that this is the time when all those concerns would be shared and that's the reason why they say apart from the concerns there are expectations as well from both the sides and they see this as a fantastic opportunity and today itself and all of that could be ironed out and with cooperation boost could be given to the economy of both the countries thanks uh, pankaj we'll keep coming back to you live we'll touch base with you uh, once we get more information about what's happened uh, at the ceo forum we're going to get that in just a short while from now is a movement that's